Hi and welcome back. Today I have another jelly printing session um, that I'd like to share with you. It was a very positive response last time and I also am really addicted to jelly printing at the moment. I'm working again with two plates this time using the smaller one on the left side as my little helper and the main prints will come with the square plate and it is measuring six by six inches and it's the original jelly arts printing plate i only have those because they are also available in germany and i haven't compared them to any other brand so in case you are curious i have no idea and again i'm using mainly or only stamps today for mug making on my prints as I got really addicted with it. It's not a big mess as with working with stencils because you don't need any space to lay any stencils down and that's really easy with the stamps. The only thing you have to take care of is that you place your stamps during the whole working process on a wet um, paper towel so the paint doesn't dry on them. When you're finished with printing it's good to immediately clean the stamps. Here I used an already dirty paper from last time and I'm a little bit um, upset because it ruined my print I feel as there were these turquoise stripes on it. But I don't mind, I just keep on working and make some more prints. I always have some papers on the right side to clean my brayer in between and also sometimes I use it to stamp off the images and that also creates some interesting backgrounds sometimes. And those papers I use again when they are dry and print on their back side. I sometimes get asked how I pick my color schemes. Well, I try not to add too many different colors to my plate because this gives a lot of very busy jelly prints and you also have the risk that you create mud when you mix complementaries. So I try to use only a few colors and I also enjoy working with white in between. This is always neutral and it lightens the print up and I really like that. The stamps I'm using are from my new collection from the January stamps. They are still on sale for 10% off until tomorrow. So take the chance and have a look over in the store. There is a link in the video description, of course. I have to mention that I don't ship to the US at the moment. I had a lot of issues shipping there and the shipping time is more than two months and that's other uh, risk is too high for me to, to do this. I hope uh, when the pandemic is over that everything will come back to normal Usually shipping was about two weeks. If you're interested in what I'm doing with my prints, I have already shared a video last week where I make some collage tags and I will link this up in the upper right corner. And I also share a lot of stuff over on Instagram where I use these prints. This is something that I I want to that I want to do. I want to have um, possibilities to use these great gorgeous backgrounds because just making them and then put them into a shelf and never come back to them is not what I want to do. I would like to use them, and I try to find different ways how to incorporate them in my artwork. I used a lot of these backgrounds 
for my greeting cards and I really like how they turned out and you will find all of them over on my Instagram. And as always you will find linked up my blog post where I have some close-up images of the prints. And you will also see a flip through at the end of the video through all the prints I am making today. I really like when I have some paint remaining on my plate because this gives some nice chunky texture on the next print and I also almost never clean my jelly plate. The only thing I clean from time to time are the edges because there is such a thick layer of paint that it's hard to print that off. And for cleaning the jelly plate I just use a simple glue tape for packaging and just stick it to the plate and then tear it off and I have the dry paint on the tape and my jelly plate is clean. Of course you have to wait until your paint is completely dry to do this. I talked about this green the last time and I told you the wrong name. It's not the hookah's green, it's the sap green from the Schminke Academy colors. It's my absolute favorite green. I am not a big fan of green, but this is really gorgeous, I think. I put a layer of yellow paint to my little helper plate to pick this up with a stamp and then transfer it to my working plate. The paper that I'm using for the prints is a printer paper with 120 GSM, so it's not too thick for collaging and thick enough to create some paper crafting projects such as cards. I tried to get some of the paint off from the bottom, unfortunately it's already dry. But I don't mind that, I will have this on the next print and I'm sure it will look interesting. When I have paint left on the plate, I usually don't add the same color to this area because then I will lose the texture, I add a different color. What I also enjoy using in my jelly prints is some fluorescent paint. I have some from the De La Rowney. Um, I believe it's a System 3 paint. I don't know the correct name, but it's the De La Rowney student grade acrylic paint. I usually don't use any artist grade paint for jelly printing.
Here I'm just adding a thin layer of white paint to my little helper plate because I want to clean it off and make a print with it um, before I keep on working with another layer of paint. Often these prints don't turn out very pretty, but sometimes you get really interesting and grungy prints. This time I want to do the same that I've done before. I want to stamp with the neon color into the background on my working plate. I have also linked up some other jelly printing sessions to the top right corner info box and you will also find links at the end of this video. Here I'm just arranging all the stamps I've already used on my wet paper towel. Um, that's really important that you don't let the paint dry on your stamps because it's really hard to get it off. Last time I forgot them and the next day they were, were dry and I had to rub them very hard to get all this dry paint off.
And here you can see a flip through all the prints that I've made today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will see us next time. Bye!